Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny G's Cars. Today I'm going to show you this 2010 Nissan Cube that just came in. It's got just over 83,000 kilometers on it, which is about 51,000 miles. Let's take a look around, we'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos that's going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, road tax, insurance, all that and more I cover in this video. So please watch till the end, okay? This Nissan Cube is a five passenger vehicle in the 500 series category. So uh, the medium size category. Road tax per year is gonna be 19, I'm sorry, 7,500 yen, which is about $68 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. But if you don't wanna wait through any lines, stop by John Deasy's Cars after April 1st and before uh, a few days before uh, May ends, and we'll go ahead and assist you with that. You do have two ways to pay for it. The first one being US dollars cash outright, or you can take advantage of the 0% uh, financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. But if you want to put something down to reduce your overall monthly payments, you can do that. Uh, before we go inside, I always like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. But the more important feature and benefit that it is, it's going to give you that cross ventilation and get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor, okay? So this does have the keyless. It is a push button, so foot on the brake. Push this one time, and it'll go ahead and turn over. Kilometers here, 83,039 on the odometer. Show it a couple of warning lights. Uh, that one right there on the bottom right is your uh, seatbelt one. Obviously, wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. Uh, that one to the left of that, that circular one, is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. We get that a lot. Uh, but it's a kick tight. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away, kick it again, comes right back on. Uh, here are a couple other ones. And everybody says, oh my god, why are you showing something that's wrong? Uh, it just came in, so the engine light is on, okay? So we're going to take care of that during the inspection, if not uh, before we detail it. So just whenever we have time. Um, and then the blinking one looks like an airbag light. So this will both uh, be taken care of during the inspection, if not sooner, okay? So other than that, just a simple, straightforward, straight-ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action to correct it, okay? Um, off to the left here, you do have your radio. Let me see. This does not have a rear camera. You have your air conditioning controls, uh, a couple uh, grocery bag hooks, and then a little netting here. I don't know, you put maybe a, a larger size American drink in there. Who knows? Um, you got your power outlet here, okay? Then you got a deep pocket uh, a glove box to the left. In the door panels, you do have a little bit of storage and smaller cup holders. You probably not going to fit a regular American size drink in there. Uh, that is your passenger space over there. You got your red road flare hanging out. And then this is my space over here. Um, the seat is all the way back, all the way down. I can drive like this or slide it up a little bit and still be comfortable. I say, I always say um, the new, the newer cubes, this body style uh, has a lot more space than the previous model. Uh, there really wasn't any leg room in the previous model. Um, that's my um, eye level right there. I can see most of the hood, which is rare. Okay, go on back. I think it has light factory tin on the back. And normally there's a time I show you the auction sheet showing that it's a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. But because it's just coming in, I keep those inside until they've been detailed. If you want to take a look at it, I can run inside and get that. But once it's been detailed, it's going to be up here on the uh, driver's side sun visor. Okay? Uh, let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. <coughs> Excuse me. You do have cup holders right here. Uh, this one right here is not a cup holder, but you do have cup holders right in the middle here. And that slides out. If you know what that is, please tell me. And then it does have a, um, a center console here slash armrest with a little bit of storage. Okay. You do have your mirror controls on your right side, part of the dash. Underneath it, please don't forget, you got two levers here. The first, the first one on the right is going to be your gas cover release. Don't forget that. We get a lot of people asking where that is. And then the other one is the hood release. Okay. So I'm just going to turn this off by pushing the button once. Your foot does not have to be on a brake when you turn it off. There you got it. You get to see my shadow. I am a real person. The sun is blaring today. All right. All right. So with the seat all the way back and all the way down in the front, uh, I'm a good two inches away from the back of the seat to my knees. Uh, nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you do have a little pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. Be careful with this. This always rips right on each end because uh, people try to pull it out that much. It doesn't have a lot of give, so I would be very limited in what you put in there. Um, on the door panel, you do have a cup holder on each side and then you do have two cup holders on the armrest here okay let's go to the back and I, i'm sorry i think you saw me uh, when i first sat down you can slide this up okay 
all right my knees are in the way obviously you can slide this up all the way to the uh, front seats because and that'll determine or you could do that uh, depending on how much space you need in the back okay all right so there you got it now uh, the last model they used to have a, a handle right there this way you could slide that forward from here but they took that away for whatever reason all right so let's go to the front and then you got your good old nissan engine which will be clean during the detailing process there you have it, uh, 2010 Nissan Cube, uh, 83,000 kilometers on it, which is again about 51, 52,000 miles. Military price goes down to 4,700 with an additional military discount. We'll get this down to 4,500. That's going to include the two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper warranty, the 2021 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement, whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we'd help you out with that here. Uh, as always, we encourage you to shop around, go out to other dealers, see what they have, and then stop by John's Used Cars, let, it, let us show what we have and what our program is all about. We are definitely making a difference because we are different. Stop on by, we'll show you why. If you have any questions while you're out and about, think you're not getting the right information, go ahead and contact us. Information is free, so we'll always uh, assist you, regardless if you're buying a car from us or not. So don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or 24 uh, months financing with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.